What is up, everyone? This is your host, Danny, for Diving with D, episode 10. And honestly, before we get into anything, I just want to say I'm sorry. Um, I have not made an episode in six months. In January, I said I was back for good because I always take little breaks. But I was also just like going through a lot at the time. But honestly, like these past six months was just like my last semester of college and I really wasn't focused on this. And I had the absolute best time. So cut me some slack because I know a lot of people were like, what the heck? And I don't blame you. I mean, it's really messed up, (laughs) especially because you guys are looking forward to this, which is awesome. And I love making them. But again, this just this just wasn't something I was really focusing on. But now we're home for good. But I did just come back from Nashville. And that is what today's episode is about. And I don't think anyone's really ready because this trip was just not real. (laughs) So let's dive right in. So like basically every episode, I always plan out it on my phone. So if again, if I'm looking down on it or whatever, it's just because I got to stay on track. Because when I tell stories, I do get off track. Um, and so yeah, also just this was a long trip to go to Nashville. People I feel like usually go over like the weekend. We went from Wednesday to Sunday. So a lot happened that I don't want to miss out on. Like when I came back from the trip, my sister picked me up. Um, from my friend's house that, whose mom drove us home from the airport, and she, like, asked me about it, and I honestly, like, couldn't tell her what happened. I was so tired, and just, like, it was all, like, a blur at the time, but now, like, after recovering for a couple of days, I finally, like, put the pieces together of what happened this trip. Um, so I had to wait, there's a freaking fly in here. How did that get in here? So, I had to wake up at 5.45 on Wednesday, or earlier than and leave by 5.45. I honestly don't remember. But our flight was really early. It was like 7 a.m., 8 a.m., one of those. And it only took like an hour and 50 minutes to get there, I think. It was a really short flight. Um, Don't have headphones. I lost my AirPods, and then I bought Beats Flexes, which are like the wireless Beats. Lost those. So I honestly just, I shouldn't even be responsible for headphones because I just always lose them. Um, so I flew without headphones, um, so I made myself sleep the whole time because I was gonna read, but I just, like, not too tired to do that. I always say I'm gonna read on the plane, and I just don't. Um, so we get to the airport, and I'm sitting in a row with, like, all my friends, like, we're all around each other, so it was already, like, we were already just laughing about, like, random stuff, um, so I just knew, like, right then and there, like, this trip was, like, a simulation, and it, it was, um, I didn't also realize, like, how much anxiety I have on planes. Like, I used to, I used to actually be really bad, like, hate flying. And then I, like, working on myself, my anxiety, like, got so much better. And I, like, didn't really care anymore about going on planes. And I still don't. But it's just, like, the part when it's, like, going up into the air. I was actually holding on for dear life. Like, I was on the window seat. put the window down, the shades, whatever the heck you call it. Because I just, like, was freaking out. Um... But it was, like, a fine flight, like, no turbulence or anything. Again, I slept the whole time. So we get to Nashville, and then the plane was taking so long to just, like, let us off, so, which was good because we got there so early in our Airbnb. We weren't allowed in until 12. I think we got there, like, 10, so we had two hours to spare. But one of the whole first hours was us just waiting to get off the plane. Um, So instead of going straight to the Airbnb, we went to Publix first. If you don't know what Publix is, like, Figure it out. It's an amazing supermarket. Fire subs. And I love sandwiches. Turkey, lettuce, and mayo on bread. My go-to every time. I don't I don't get anything else. Any, I just, I don't. There's nothing else I want. Nothing else I crave. I don't know what I like other than that. I mean, I really, speaking of food, I like a lot of meats. <laughs> Ham. Roast beef. Turkey. Salami. You name it. I like it. I do. But mayo. I could just eat a spoonful of mayo. I don't know if that's, like, gross to people, but I just can. Um, So we get to Publix first, and I, like, didn't know. No one really knew, like, the food situation. Like, when we went to Florida for spring break, like, we bought groceries because we're like, oh, we're going to, like, eat breakfast and lunch at home and then, like, go out to dinner or something. Like, we bought groceries, but for this trip, like, we had so many things planned that we were just, like, not going to be home, like, ever really. So I just bought three snacks for that whole weekend, and that's the only food I ate, unless we were out, like I said, and 
eating whatever there. Um, so I snacked on Cape Cod chips, Cheez-Its, and like the red wavy chips bag. My favorite chips are those Cape Cod Stacy chips. I definitely mentioned that in another podcast. But um, I was so hungry at Publix that I actually ate the whole bag of family's, not family size. Yeah, it was like, it was like family size. I'm not gonna, um, say it was anything less because it wasn't. It was a huge bag and I ate it all by myself because I was just so hungry and that was just so dumb because then I was so nauseous because I had that whole bag, but then I also bought a public sandwich because like that was like our lunch and when I buy sandwiches, like I want to eat it right away. So I started trying to eat it and I was just like, that was a horrible idea because I just ate a day's worth of chips for a meal and then tried to eat a Publix sub, which is like a foot long from Subway. Didn't end well. Um, but it was so freaking good. I had half of it and when you know, if you know me, when I eat sandwiches, I eat both sides right away. But I had to actually take a break. So I had half of my sandwich and then right before going out, I had the other half. Um, have to mention Airbnb. We knew this before, but it's Alex, it was Alex Earl's Airbnb that she stayed at in Nashville. I had to flex it. That's all I have to say about it. There's really nothing else. I didn't get her room or anything, but I think it's just cool. So when we get there, only the house is like two houses connected. So one house was um, good for check-in. Like we were allowed to go in. The other house wasn't. Our house was the one that wasn't allowed in. Or it was. I really don't even remember. So we chilled in one of them for a little. And then once we were good to go in our room... Me and my friend Monica, who shared a room with the other people, but it was only us two that were ready at the time, went to find our room. Let's just explain this room. All right. It's two bunk beds in the size of a room that's a shoebox, with the fifth bed being a pullout from under the bottom bunk of one of the bunk beds. So it's two bunk beds with a pullout bed in the middle of it. So there's nowhere to walk in between there. One closet, one bathroom. And the little walking space to get from the closet to get off the bunk beds to get to the bathroom. With the bathroom sharing with another room who had three people. So eight people, one bathroom. Let's just put that in our heads. And everyone's a girl. So there's makeup and straighteners and blow dryers and one shower. But hey, I'm not complaining because it was the best room ever. It all worked out. It was worth it. It was actually so funny because they like when we'd go out during the day and we'd come back, we'd have like our little resting time. I don't nap. I just I get like really overtired and I just can't stop laughing and talking. They all wanted to kill me because they were all trying to nap, but it was fun for the mems. Maybe when they're listening to this, they're gonna be like, "No, Danny, like we actually wanted to punch you in the face," but I'm just gonna pretend that they loved it. So I got the top bunk. I texted the group chat. I was like, "What beds you guys want?" Again, I don't care where I end up. They're like, "Doubts, you're getting the top bunk." So I got the top bunk, and I loved it. It was me on the top bunk, my other friend, King. Under her was Allie on the floor. Pull-out bed was Monica, and Logan was under me. So yeah, so this was the first day we got there, and we were really tired because of the flight, and just it was a long day. So we just rested until we went out that night. So it was time to go. Thank gosh I planned out all my outfits because this freaking fly. I didn't get it because like at home picking outfits it's just like too hard for me so like just picture me going on a trip and just throwing things in a bag and figuring out outfits nope so I had I had each day an outfit planned and like I wasn't wearing like one thing at, in the morning uh one thing during the day and then one at night it was just like whatever I wore that day I wore from morning to night like it was just all day um so when everyone would get ready it took me five minutes so not because that they didn't have planned outfits. Everyone did, basically. But, like, my way of getting ready is, like, if I've showered already, like, I redo my hair by putting the clip back in. I brush my hair now because I used to not, which was the dumbest idea because I was like, oh, why is it so frizzy? Why is it so messy? But, see, me looking at my hair right now, like, it just, I need to figure it out. Um, But, yeah, so my way of just getting ready was putting my hair up. And then I had my outfit already, so I just throw it on and I was done. It took five minutes. Um, I don't wear makeup, so all my friends would be like doing their hair, uh, doing their makeup, and I'm just like, I'm done. I would brush my teeth, do my mouthwash, and play music. And my music is not even that good, so I don't really know the purpose of me being in that room while everyone was getting ready. Um, but also like I journal and I didn't have time to do it that morning. So like if I didn't have time in the morning I would just do it during like everyone getting ready. Cause I had like a little time to spare. 
So it's just funny to me that, like, my way of getting ready is completely different from everyone else um, that was on that trip. Because, like, there since there's only one sink, one sink for eight of us, yeah, there's only one sink for eight of us. So two of my friends would be doing their makeup, and I'm in the middle just in their way. I'm such, I'm so annoying, like, brushing my teeth. But, like, sometimes, like, if they were all doing their thing, I'd brush my teeth over the toilet, <laughs> standing up over it. So Because my toothpaste falls down my mouth when I'm brushing my teeth. I don't know. I'm just, I was just in everyone's way, I feel like, during getting, during the getting ready with me time. Because it was just, like, I didn't have to. But the brushing my teeth is part of my getting ready with me to go out at night. So... I had to do what I had to do, and going over the toilet was part of that. <laughs> so after we were all done getting ready, we all went to one of the kitchens, because again, like two houses, so two kitchens, we all went to one kitchen and pre game together, um, so I do this thing now where I think I'm cool that I could take a shot without a chaser, so I do a couple, because I'm like, guys, everyone watch, and they all like hype me up, bad idea, because after that, I'll be like feeding for more alcohol, and I'm already drinking the high noons and the claws or the twisted teas that I bought. So on top of like barring, not barring, I guess, using people's vodka if they offer it to me to show them that I can do without a chaser. Um, and I wonder why lately I've been getting way more drunk than I usually do. Um, that's the reason I'm blaming on that. But it's so fun. Um, <laughs> so we're leaving the house now after the pregame. It's great vibes. Um, it's our first night out in Nashville. And we go to a bar called the Wild Beaver Saloon. Salon? It's got to be saloon because it's just straight up not salon. Um, and there's that's the bull riding one. Wait, not like the one. There's many bars, Danny, with bull riding. They were just a bull riding machine thing. So you had to pay for that, and we all went on that. I was on there for so long, I killed it my upper body strength. I was on that thing, but you're only supposed to hold it with one hand, but I was cheating and holding on with two because I wanted to stay on. But the woman that was doing it, she was like trying to get us off real quick. So she would think that make that thing go freaking spinning. I'm like hanging on the side, holding on for dear life. Um, so we all did that. And then there was like a karaoke like stage right next to it. So me and my friend Diana um, went up and sang Sweet Home Alabama. And we had like a couple of drinks in us. We need to have a quick intermission because the lawnmowers decided to come on filming my podcast podcast <laughs> podcast so we'll be, i'll be back um i just realized that you don't need to have an intermission for a podcast because i just edit my videos um, i just haven't made one in so long i also thought that you could hear the lawnmower in the video but you couldn't so we're just gonna you know proceed and just pretend um, this really embarrassing moment didn't just happen. Let's go find where we left off. Right. <laughs> the karaoke stage. So again, we were singing Sweet Home Alabama, a couple drinks in us. All of our friends were like the audience, and it was just a great, great time. Um, so once that was done, me and my friend took one more shot. Let's talk about the fact that the shots, a green tea shot was $12. 12 Me and my friend bought it. And they were like, all right, $24. We looked at each other, we were like, you can't say no now. I felt too bad, and so did she, but it was a big one. So then, after that bar, we, all 30 of us, did I mention the fact that there was 30 of us on this trip? All walking in Nashville to another bar, hammered, and we get to the bar Jason Aldean's. Now, this was my favorite bar in Nashville. If anyone asks me what my favorite bar is, I said, I said Jason's. The vibes were so good. Like, it was a huge stage, like, huge space, like, great music. Um, it wasn't really any country music. It was just straight rap, but, like, I love rap, too. I just, like, expected only country. But this was, like, kind of like a club. Like, uh, it wasn't a club, but, like, what am I saying? It's, like, there was, like, lights and... <laughs> what? Just lights? I Like, a DJ instead of, like, a little, like, live music situation that makes sense okay that made sense right <laughs> this is why it took six months off because i just i don't know what i'm doing um so yeah that was basically this the first day go home whatever and then the next day was when i wore my favorite outfit overalls got them from old navy wore a white tank top under it cowboy boots slide ray bands um 
And for I forgot to even write this down, but this just clicked. We went to a lunch place, like some of us. We also like didn't always do everything together. All three of us, like it was like sometimes split. So like some of us went to this lunch place called Buds and Brews, or was it Brews and Buds? Probably Buds and Brews. That sounds more right. Um, and it's a it's a place where like your food and your drinks can be infused with weed, like THC. Um, I'm definitely gonna get made fun of by my friends for that part. Because, like, is weed THC? I don't really know what I'm saying there. Um, cause I don't smoke. But my friend, some of my friends do. So we went for them. And they come out with electric bongs. So you, like, press a button. And then, like, you inhale. And, like, you pull a piece. It's, it's like a, it's a, not like, it is a bong. But it's an electrical one. That is freaking, it was freaking insane. So I was, like, watching, like, whoa. But didn't do it. Um, because I've told you guys in a past podcast, like, I used to smoke, but. I just had a really bad um, experience with it one time. Actually, two times. So, I, like, don't smoke anymore. But, so anyways, aside from the electrical electrical bongs, that's just, like, an insane, like, idea to have at a restaurant. Like, it's such a good idea. And it was so cool, and the vibes were great. I think the waiter was obviously fucking stoned. <laughs> um, so, it was really fun. And honestly, like, going back to what I said before about, like, just buying snacks and stuff, like... See, like, the Buds and Brews place wasn't planned. We just thought of it that morning. So, like, it was kind of good to have, like, the snacks and stuff. Because, like, we didn't ever really go out to eat. Um, so we were always, like, pretty much followed the itinerary, which is what I'm going through with you guys right now. Um, so, like, if I was hungry, I'd just honestly eat the snacks I had at home. Um, but DoorDash there, it was horrible. My friend ordered Coke, and um, DoorDash delivered meatballs <laughs> instead. Also, someone ordered coffee from Dunkin', and they delivered it and took a picture of it, and it was empty. Like, it was spilled out, and they just left it there. Um, But, like, one night, we were out. I had, like, three hot dogs, like, on the street. One of them, I put cheese on it, melted. It was insane. Never thought of that. Um, But, yeah. So, that was just, like, a random thought I had to throw in there. But, so, yeah, we explored town. Like, people went to gift shops. I couldn't find anything I liked. I got good pictures that day. Um, and then we went back and we rested because that night we had the party bus. And the party bus, that shit was so fucking fun. So, like, all 30 of us went on a... I want to say it was 30. I feel like it was 31 or 29, but I'm just going to stick with the number 30 because it was around there. Um, went on a party bus. And there's, like, a DJ with, like, a little MC guy. And then um, a place, like, pulled out drinks and, like, seats. And, like, the sides were open. So we just... It was just, like, an hour or two or an hour and a half, I don't remember, of us just driving driving through, like, Broadway and, like, Nashville. And since the sides were open, like, people could see us, so we would wave out. And, like, everyone's, like, drinking. Like, Nashville's just a huge drinking scene, so everyone's just drunk, partying. And it was just, like, great vibes. I need to stop saying vibes. I say that all the time. Um, and the DJ basically played just, like, whatever we'd request. So it was just, like, so much fun. I almost just said good vibes again. Um... Also, like, this bus, you order the drinks prior. Like, it's, like, a website, and, like, they have a cooler on the bus. So, like, whatever you order, like, they have it for you. Obviously, you have to pay for it, but, like, I ordered, like, a pack of six pineapple high noons. And so, like, on the bus, like, it was ready for me there, which was awesome. I didn't finish the whole case. Okay, I didn't have one more. I only had five out of six, but I pre-gamed before it. Bad idea. Um, no, it wasn't a bad idea. I could handle my alcohol... See, this is where I say I go off track. I could handle my alcohol. Um, I just meant like I was very drunk. I don't remember what happened after the bus. I don't know if we went out or if I went home. I just actually don't remember. And it freaks me out. But it's fine. It's in the past. Um, So that's that day. Then is Friday. Again, we're there Wednesday to Sunday. So I went through Wednesday, went through Thursday. We're at Friday. Um, Friday, we went to Hampton Social. Now, this is a sick restaurant. It's on like a rooftop. There's a DJ, like, playing music while people are eating. Um, and I wrote in my notes that the vibes were so high. I can't, I can't. Um, I'm not saying that, even though I just did. Um, but I got a steak cedar salad, best salad of my entire life. First of all, I've never thought about putting steak as my meat in a salad. I always just do chicken. And I also don't have Caesar salad a lot because it's dairy. But, like, on that trip, I didn't really watch what I ate or drank. So I was only there once. Um... Clearly, I didn't watch what I drank either because I forgot to mention, every single morning I woke up in the outfit from the night before. 
I had pajamas laid out, folded on top of my bunk bed. Nope. Woke up in overalls. Um, but yeah. Amazing salad. Also tried Stella, which is a beer. Um, it was now my favorite. It's now my favorite beer. I don't know what's so good about it. It's just, it was cold. It was great. There was ultras. Those were the only two beers, I think, that I knew. Because I knew of Stella, but I never had it. But I think those were the only two beers that I knew that were on the menu. And I didn't, I don't know why. I just haven't been feeling ultras lately. But yeah, so I got Stella. And it was great. Then, we're leaving the restaurant. And I'm wearing white pants. I got my period in them. I don't know if that's like TMI. Is that TMI? Too late. I got my period in them. And it was like 90 degrees. So after leaving the restaurant, like, it was really hot. I just got my period. And, like, I get really bad periods. I'm not going to get into it because it's just weird. What am I saying? Um, so I was just, like, really hot. And I just, like, started to not feel good. But I didn't want to complain. Like, I'm like I'm in Nashville. Like, I'm not going to, like make everyone go home but I was just like guys like I need water or something um because we got on the uber and I felt like I was gonna pass out and I didn't want to not say anything because I've also never passed out so I was just like letting them know I might pass out but they're great like they got me water um we didn't really walk around not because of me but because like there was just like we went to this other area than Broadway and there was just not much to do or see so we stopped there really quick to see like this wall with like a cool butterfly um painting took some pictures and then we went home, um, but forgot to mention that at the Hampton Social, I was wearing, aside from the white pants, like, a black t-shirt, like, jewelry, my Ray-Bans. I looked like Scott Disick. Did I say his last name right? I sure hope so, because I'm just making my, making fun of myself this whole episode. Um, I literally looked like him. Not looked like him, like, my face, but, like, my vibe was just, like, Scott. And then my friend King, who was sitting next to me, was wearing a white dress. So, it looked like we were, like, I, like either together or, like, I don't know, because the waitress, like, came to, um, or not the waitress. I think, I don't know if it was the waitress or, like, someone random or someone that came up to our table just to talk to us. Looked at King and was, like, congratulations. So, I don't, we don't know if they thought, like, we were together. Like, she was just there for her bridal party because, like, everyone that was in Nashville that weekend was, all like, all there for their bridal party. Um... Is that what it's called? Bachelorette party. Oh my god. Guys, I think I'm still recovering. Um, so yeah. So that was really funny. Um, also, I, I forgot to mention a few things about the ham social because all I talked about was my beer and my salad. Um, they come out with like these huge seashells with wine in it, like huge straws. Like my friends were sharing that. Because I don't drink wine. That's why I got a beer. And then, like, our other friends were at the table next to us. And they come out with a guitar with, like, circles in it with shots in them. With fireworks. Not fireworks. Um. Oh, my gosh. What, they're, what are they called? Um. Like, sparkles coming out. It was so cool. It was $100, though. But for 10 shots, if you have 10 people, it's $10. So, actually, that's not bad at all. But there was only, like, five of us at our table. We didn't want to do that. Too much money. We spent... I don't know about everyone, but I think everyone spent way too much in Asheville. But, like, I wasn't, I went into the trip knowing, like, all right, I'm just going to, like, not even worry about the money. Because I just, like, knew I was going to be there once. And if I focus on that, like, I wouldn't buy a lot of things. Because, like, I'm so bad when it comes to money with buying things. Like, I like to save my money. But, like, if I need something, I, I still won't buy it. Because I'm like, oh, I need to keep this money. But that's not what I did in Nashville. <laughs> I don't even want to look at my bank account or how much I spent there. And I'm not going to. I never will. So we get back. And then our friends are some... Some of our other friends are still out. And they text us in a group chat saying... Hold on. Um, I said hold on because I got interrupted by two people. Um, And now I'm going to play what I just got interrupted by from Jenna and Skip. That's their names. Here we go. Anyways, back to what I was talking. One sec. That's my lawnmower. By the way, he wears overalls, but wears the top down. And he's got man boobs. No offense. Love the guy to death. Don't know him, actually. Um, so when they when the lawnmower moves, his boobs move. <laughs> um, I just didn't have to mention that. Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, so our friends were out, and they call us that are, uh, as they're on their way home from the Uber, and they're like, or they texted us. They texted us and said, like, 
you guys have to come downstairs or whatever, like, everyone, like, in our whole group chat, we had a whole group chat for all 30 of us in Nashville, they're like, everyone come downstairs, so we come down, and they're not down, they're not there yet, or they're, they're like, we're here, um, but go in the living room, so we're all sitting there, and all of a sudden, the Uber driver that had, that they were with, walks in with a guitar, apparently he's a singer, I don't know his real, like, whole life story, but he comes in and starts playing music, now, if you know me, like, I laugh at everything, but this guy was trying so hard, and I felt so bad that, because I was laughing, I was just, like, laughing, because it was just a funny, like, what the heck is going on, so I excused myself and went behind the kitchen, because the kitchen's in the living room, I went behind the kitchen counter, and I was wheezing on the floor, um, great guy, so nice, um, I don't want to say he wasn't a good singer, he was trying his best, we're just gonna move on from this, and just talk about the next thing on my list, so we had the bars that night, and there's really not much to say. Like, I blacked out. That was the night I blacked out. Um, after we were out, we Ubered home, me and some of my friends. And I can't even tell you what was said in that Uber because it was just not real. So out of pocket, um, we're just going to move on from that whole night. Not because it was, like, bad. Like, I had a great time, but I just, like, blacked out. I really just don't remember. We just, there wasn't much like, planned, it was just, we went to a bar, I got really drunk, we went to, like, another bar, drank more, and then we were at home, um, but it was the Uber that was just not real, if you want to know what was happening and said during it, like, not happen. yeah, you could DM me, you could text me, you could call me, because it's just, <laughs> there's videos, it was just really funny, I'm hyping it up so much, you just had to be there, um, so we woke up in the morning, and it was the last full day, uh, we didn't have anything to do until the drag queen show, which was lit. We literally, I literally stayed in bed till 3 p.m., which is not like me. I don't do that, but I've just was so hungover every morning. So we get to the drag queen show and I'm already loving it. Everything's rainbow. It's pride month. <laughs> um, so like they had a six mimosas each one was a different color of the rainbow. Like, it was just so cool how it was decorated. And the people that worked there, they're, they were just, like, so funny and nice. Um, so we walk into, like, the stage area. And, like, there's multiple groups there at tables. So, like, our group was the 30 of us, which split up, obviously, within, like, five or six tables. Um, and I forgot to mention, like, we were there because we just graduated college, which I said, though. But this is, like, what our sorority, like, the seniors do. It's just, like, a thing that we go to Nashville after we graduate um, for a couple of days. So that's, like, basically what we were celebrating. But everyone else that was there, it was either their birthday or their bachelorette party. Um, so when the first drag queen came out, she did, like, a little performance and was, like, asking everyone where, why everyone's here. And it was just, like, so funny because you would expect, like, either, again, to be there for a bridal party or a birthday or, like, an anniversary, I have no idea, but just, like, here, like, picturing, I'm picturing the drag queen asking us why we're here, and we're saying, we just graduated from college, and then she's like, oh, are you guys sorority girls? Like, you have to be, and it was just, like, it was really funny, and she went around asking all of us our majors, um, but after that, like, two other drag queens came out and did, like, two more performances, and then they asked us to come up on stage, and I didn't want to go up on stage, because, like, I, like, I like doing that stuff, but that specific thing was not my cup of tea. I don't twerk. I don't, like, I, I just can't dance like that. Um, I think it's, I think it was, like, the best thing I've ever went to. Like, I wish you guys saw my face. Whoever's listening to it that was there, you guys saw my face watching it. I was, like, so impressed. I was, like, this is the greatest, funniest thing ever. Um, but personally, myself, I just can't twerk and do splits and stuff like that. So I didn't want to do that. It was, like, you had to, like, do a little runway walk. Is that what it's called? I'm just going to say that. And then, like, pose and, like, do whatever you want. But, again, that's not my thing. But some of my friends were like, Dan, you have to get up there. You have to get up there. And I was like, no, no, no. Like, I'm okay. They're like, Danny. So, I was like, oh, you only live once. Like, doing it for the plot. Because everything's for the plot. So, I get up there really quick because we were about to all come down. But I decided to do this so last minute. And I did my little dance that everyone knows, if you know. I, like, dance to Just Wanna Rock at college. Or did. Because I graduated. Um, I do the same move every time. So, I did it on stage. Um, it was embarrassing in a good way. Um, 
Because I just can't, I just don't think I could dance. I can't dance. Like, the amount of people that made fun of me be like, what the heck are you doing? Which is valid. But, like, it was so fucking funny. Like, it was, it's just, like, who I am. Like, that dance was just who I was. Like, everyone else doing the splits and the poses, like, that's them. And, like, they did it amazing. But then I made a fool of myself, but, like, in a good way. But when I was there, like, I didn't even drink. Like, I had, I was, like, sipping on a Stella, but, like, also, like, they give you food. I couldn't even eat it because I was so hungover. And then, like, of course, the waiter was like, let's do a round. So I couldn't say no. So I, like, didn't even fully drink it. It was a white tea shot. Didn't even know there was a thing. But, yeah. So that was really fun. And after that, we went to the White Limousine, which is, like, a Dolly Parton restaurant. It is so expensive, and you can't sit unless you made a reservation. So we just stood there, and like, which was fun. Like, everything, I'm not complaining about anything. Like, it was so great, but, like, it just stunk because it was so hot. And, like, you couldn't sit. And the drinks were, like, $20 for one. And I wasn't drinking already. But I got great pictures up there. Like, we all went up there, got good pics. So that was good. Um, and I loved my outfit that day, too. It's like, a white two-set thing imaging. Um, so after that, we left and rested again until we went out. Now, when we went out, we also didn't have a plan this night. So we just went to whatever bars. But the bar we ended up at was Miami. Like, I'm not even kidding. It was not Nashville Vibes. It was straight Miami. Um, it was all squished. Like, people pushed it and stuff. I just felt like, again, in Miami. And when I went to Miami on the Florida trip, that thing wasn't even real. So, like, Miami Vibes in Nashville, just everything, just... <laughs> it was all really funny because it just, like, wasn't making sense. Um, but I had the absolute best time. And then... We went to Coyote Ugly, which is like a famous bar where there's like a movie about it or something. I don't know where there's a movie that has it in there. And the like waitresses are, not waitresses, the, like the bartenders are mean to you on purpose. And people are doing like body shots. But I wasn't drunk like really at all. So I was kind of just like watching everything go down. Like there's like bras hung up on like the bar. Like it's the decoration and just like, I'm, I have to say the vibes. The vibes is like, you have to be drunk to be there. But like girls stand up on the bar and dance and... Um, I think I was just, like, so tired and done from the whole weekend, because I was just, we were nonstop, um, that I just went home early with my friend Monica, um, we're, like, literally sitting on the side of the road, just, like, waiting for an Uber, um, and I was hungry, because I wasn't drunk drunk, but I was a little drunk, so I ordered Taco Bell, just never came, so I canceled it, ordered McDonald's, never came, so I canceled it, um, I don't know why I had to mention that. I was just like, made me upset. Like, I really wanted a McChicken, fries, and nuggies. I eat, like, shit on this trip. Um, But, yeah, so the final day was Sunday. We woke up, and we had to be out by 12, I think, or 11. So we left and went to, like, this famous place that people talk about in Nashville for chicken sandwiches called Hattie Bee's. And I love chicken. It's my favorite food any chicken sandwich from anywhere. I just could eat that shit up. And I was like, felt so gross from the whole weekend with the drinking and the food. I don't like eat or drink like that often. Um, especially like coming home from school, like the two weeks I was home until Nashville, like I barely drank and didn't eat crap. So I was like, guys, like, I don't know if I could get in. They're like, Danny, you love chicken. You're only here once, which no, I'm not. Cause I'm definitely moving to Nashville or I'm going to be a bartender there for a little. I just loved it so much. Um, like, you have to try it. So I did. It was really good. Never had a... Okay, I don't know how to... Coleslaw? Coles? I don't know how to pronounce it. I never had a chicken sandwich with that on it. And it was really good. The mac and cheese was fired, too. I had, like, a few bites of that from um, my friend Allie. And then I had, like, some fries. But I really just couldn't finish anything besides the chicken sandwich. I also didn't get anything besides the chicken sandwich because I just wasn't hungry. Um, So, I don't know. I've had better chicken sandwiches. I'm not going to lie. It wasn't horrible, but it wasn't like, oh my gosh, I need that again. That's just my that's my uh, input. My opinion. My opinion. Input. What? Um, so then after that, we just like had to kill time until we got to the airport. But it was nine. It was 100 degrees, 90 to 100 degrees. And we were all carrying luggage. And I had freaking carried my big gallon. So I had my big gallon, a suitcase, and a backpack. And I, uh, my friend, at, I was carrying my friend's hat for her too. Plus, wearing my own hat in cowboy boots, I think. Oh, no. I don't even know what I was in. Maybe Vans. Um, so, we were all just like, oh, we got to 
we just got to go straight to the airport. We don't care how long we have to wait. We had to wait, like, three hours. Not horrible. We were all together. Um, but, like, while walking around, like, I still didn't find anything, like, a shirt or sweatshirt, anything to get take home. So I wanted to bring something home. Um, if you're on YouTube, I actually did buy this Jack Daniels t-shirt at the airport. <laughs> on the back, it says, like, Tennessee and stuff. So, like, I really liked it because I wanted a beer shirt plus one that, like, you knew was from Tennessee. So, luckily, I got one at the airport. But also, I came up with this idea. Not really something I came up with right now, but, like, it's been in my mind. Um, I used, not used to, I don't know if I really ever did, but just one or two places, like, I visited and my friends visited. I, she, my friend got me a beer opener from Italy, and I got one from Spain. So, like, after, when I was in Tennessee, I was like, I think I want to start collecting them from multiple places I've been, or, like, if people go to somewhere I've never been, they could get me one. Um... Because when I have my own place, my own one day, I want to have, like, a bar cart and above it have, like, a beer can opener keychain. I don't have it on me, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Hung up above the bar cart from, like, every place I've been. I want to do, like, all 50 states in alphabetical order. That'd be sick. But I also have, like, Spain and Italy. So I think I'm just going to, like, that be my new collection of, like, anywhere I've been or, like, if anyone ever goes anywhere and wants to bring me back one. Um, So that's, like, an idea that I have in mind for when I get my own place. So, yeah, so that's the only thing I brought home. <laughs> um, and then we got to the airport, and we flew home, and I've been home for, I think, like, three days now. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Um, all in all, best trip of my life. Um, so now I also, before I go, because that was basically the whole trip, I did ask the group chat to, like, tell me things that, like, I should mention the podcast. So I'm going to leave off with... Things that, like, I didn't even, like, some things I didn't even know about. And some things that were just, like, happened to them. My friends that, like, I gotta mention. Because I would have forgot. So, first was that we had a confession stage. Which I don't understand why. But, like, we were pre-gaming the last night all together. And one of us would, like, each go up on stage and just say a confession. Um, not gonna tell you my confession. Just don't need to share. Especially don't need to share my other friends' confessions, too stays at the stays on the rooftop that we pre-gamed on um what else oh me the room that i was in my friend rams decides to come in we're all sleeping at 4 30 in the morning after coming out so like some of us came back at 2 like 1 12 3 she comes back at 4 30 we're all knocked my room she walks in doesn't knock just opens the door and starts making like scary noises so i'm thinking someone's breaking in so i'm freaking out i'm like I'm, like, under my covers, like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. I open up the cover to see. It's, like, it's the noise is still going on. It's Rams. I take my hat and fucking chuck it at her. Cursed her out in a nice way. I was, like, Rams, what the fuck? Like, get the hell out of here. Because <laughs> it's 4.30 in the morning. Rams, if you're listening to this, I thought someone was breaking in. Um, also, one of the girls brought home a boy. And it happened to be Alex Earl's Molly dealer. There's not much more to say than that. Um, me and my friends, like, all 30 of us, like, us drunk is just not real. Like, I've mentioned it so many times. So, two of my friends were, like, hopping around like bunnies. So, picture the guy. So, my friend was Abby, was the one who brought him home. Imagine her bringing him into this house of, like, 30 or, like, I guess 15 girls because it was split up. And two of them bunny hopping around the house. <laughs> That's just, I had to mention it. Um... Also, one of my friends asked a man to buy her a drink, and he just straight up walked away. Um, everyone was filming us at everywhere we went because we were just menaces. Is that the word? Am I pronouncing it right? I feel like I'm saying everything wrong. Um, what else? One of my friends offered a guy a bite of her hot dog because he wanted one. He ate the whole thing. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna, I don't know if I should say names. Maybe sometimes I will. One of my friends also came back so drunk that she stripped completely fully naked and went on the roof and we see like all of nashville so i had i gotta believe that someone saw her naked i'm not sure um also if you're watching on youtube every time i wipe the camera it's because like i don't know i think it's like dirty um also my friends were at like a barbecue place see also i'm like confused myself because some of these things that weren't like i wasn't there but they want me to mention it so, one of my friends was at a barbecue place, and the guy that was, like, working the barbecue just, like, left and asked my friend to start working. <laughs> um, also, one of our friends, Maddie, got 
went up on stage at a bar, like a huge bar, like everyone was there um, in Nashville, and she got up on stage and was performing. So that was great. I didn't. I went home earlier because I was just very drunk, and I saw it on Snapchat, and I was actually shook. Um, on the party bus, they gave us like one one spot to stop to like take pictures. Um, three of my friends were hammered, so they decided to like just start pissing right off, right off, right when they got off the bus, and the bus driver fully saw, you know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, while that was happening, another one of them, uh, threw up out of their nose, didn't know that was a thing, go them, um, also, another one of my friends had to throw up in the Uber, but the other friend, like, wasn't gonna let that happen, so she opened up her purse for her and threw up in the purse. <laughs> and the she doesn't remember that. We were talking about in the group chat and Abby was the one who threw up and was like, I don't remember that. So it's okay, Abby. It's totally okay. She also, speaking of Abby, fell asleep on a rich man's shoulder at the bar while he was providing them thousands of dollars worth of alcohol. And then she got kicked out and was escorted by security. <laughs> I didn't even know that happened. Also, another group was in an Uber, and I guess they thought, I guess the Uber driver was, he had to be drunk, because when my friends were getting out, he, like, looked at one of them and was like, you're my type, and then growled at them. Hearing this out loud, it's freaking me out. (laughs) Um, Also, Nashville had, like, the scooters where, like, you kind of just, you purchase them, like, on the spot. I don't know, like, the scooters are just, like, on the ground, and, like, you pay somehow, and then they're available for you once you pay. Um, so two of my friends decided to ride the scooter together and went three feet and flew face first into the middle of Broadway. And all these cars were pulling up asking if they were okay. And while that was happening, two of my friends, like three feet behind them, were actually like fighting those scooters because they couldn't even get them to work. And that's basically everything that the group chat wanted me to mention. That I didn't even know about half of this stuff. And I guess that's a good way to end the podcast. I'm like speechless because I really don't know how to bounce off of that with anything. (laughs) So yeah, that's basically all I got. I think I summed up the whole trip in this episode. Um, But yeah, I'm sorry again for not being good with making an episode once a week. Hopefully after this one, since I'm home now for good, um... I will be back. <laughs> I'm scared to say it, but no. I'm definitely going to be back next week. Um, I'm going to keep this thing now going. Hopefully, it will blow up one day. Um, and, yeah, I don't know what next week's episode is about yet, so look on the Instagram. Stay tuned. And thank you guys for still being here. I really do love doing this. Hopefully, you guys stay for good, too. So, yeah. Love you guys. Peace.